To keep systems healthy and accounts safe, Google limits the number of Gmail messages users can send per day and the number of recipients per message. If your users exceed an email sending limit, they'll get an error message such as You have reached a limit for sending email. You reached a Gmail sending limit. You exceeded the maximum recipients. After reaching one of these limits, users can't send new messages for up to 24 hours. However, they can still access their Google Workspace account, get incoming email, and use their other Google services. After this suspension period, sending limits are reset and users can resume sending email. Google Workspace free trial accounts have different limits than paid accounts, and limits aren't increased during the free trial period. To remove these limitations, you need to convert to a paid subscription. After you convert from a free trial account to a paid subscription, your account sending limits automatically increase when both of the following are true. Your domain has cumulatively paid at least 100 USD, or equivalent. At least 60 days have passed since reaching that payment threshold. If you bought your domain from Google, the cost to increase your limits is the cost of your domain plus 100 USD. Limits per day are applied over a rolling 24-hour period, not a set time of day. Please be aware that sending limits can also change without notice. The table appearing on the screen shows the respective limit types and the amount that will make these limits to be triggered. Pause the video if you need further time to review it. Additionally to regular messages, the following items also count towards the sending limits. Messages sent from a user's alternate address or alias. Messages sent by delegated users. Messages sent from Gmail's vacation responder. For more help and information, check out the Gmail sending limits in Google Workspace page in the Google Workspace Admin Help Center. You will also find this link in the description of this video.